Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer V3-371 series laptop and the exact model for this one is an MS2392 and what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys, take you on step by step how to open it up, how to upgrade your RAM for this model and this can be done not specifically for MS2392 it can be done for any Acer V3 300 series so if you have an 8 gig ram you want to bump it up to 16 gig ram you can easily do it and we do it all the time in the store for clients it's really easy and simple to do this task all you need to do is to grab yourself a screwdriver set i really recommend you guys to grab the ifixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there these are made out of the s2 class steel beds which means they are really tough and steel and uh, it will last you a much longer period of the time comparing to uh, cheap brands out there we're gonna grab a uh, phillips number one also you can grab the pro set which will give you tweezers pliers opening tools everything you need but if you don't want to get the pro set to invest just grab yourself a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick it is suitable to opening electronics and covers, laptops, and so on and so forth. With these two on hand, next thing you what you need to do is to power off the laptop completely, flip it upside down, and on the bottom cover here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. Under here, if you have a cover in here, you have to puncture through here. There's a screw right under here, so I had to rip off this uh, yellow. Uh, mark here paper so go ahead and remove all the screws all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them keep them in one pile also i realize there's only one person of my viewers are subscribed to the channel if you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out please click that like button and think about subscribing it really greatly motivates me and helps out to make more videos and take requests and questions and answer your comments I really appreciate it all right once you remove all the screws at the bottom cover all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that in there and all you need to do is just twist it towards the outside to the bottom and you're gonna hear those clicks you want to do that all around to the right and left side go to the back corner and you do want to hear those clicks once you did the front and the side you can do the back side too right here just lift it and look the cover just come out so you might have to work a little more but the cover just came out on this one and down here you're gonna see the ram this ram is being already upgraded from 4 gig to another 4 gig i believe and to upgrade the ram or anything you don't need to remove the battery but if you want to be paranoid you can go ahead and remove the battery just by pulling this jack backward uh, to remove the ram all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the ram away from each other and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle and all you need to do is to grab it in 45 degree and slide it out in the same direction these are a ddr3 ram so i'll leave the link for a higher capacity ddr3 so grab the ram make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch on the ram dim right on the board so if you try to put it the other way around it will not go through once it's matched just bring it in 45 degree just landing a plane all the way to the jack and towards the motherboard make sure you hit those two clicks same thing on the other side pull them away take it out in a 45 degree this one is at 2 gig so 4, 5, 6 gig in total so I would recommend you guys if you have a 2 gig remove it put 4 and 4 you at least have an 8 gig RAM here so grab the new RAM here bring it match and if you see a little dirt in here just clean it up make sure the contacts are cleaned bring it in 45 all the way to the dim and towards the motherboard now this is very important at the end you want to connect the battery in just put, align it and push it towards the motherboard 
You don't need to put the cover to do a test. So with the cover removed, just open it up and it's the turn it, power it on. And once you get the boot screen and the windows is loading, just shut it down and put the cover. But if you turn it on and the fan spins, but there is nothing on the screen after five to 10 seconds, then what you need to do is to power it up. Like you don't need to remove the battery, just swipe the places for the RAM, grab the new RAM, put it in on this one and the other one, leave it to a side. Power on with only one RAM that you want to upgrade inside. Once you get the boot screen, power it off and then put the old RAM on the other dim. And then wait 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect and you should be ready to go. That's really common because of the BIOS sometimes it doesn't want to detect the RAM right away. So you just have to swipe the places or do one boot up and power off and then install the next one. All right. Now, once you have the RAM installed, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and make sure you put the I.O. side down here on the bottom first, and then squeeze it down. Make sure you do those clicks on the back side all the way, and the last thing would be to just putting down the bottom screws. Again, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys to do your own upgrade. If it did, you know what to do, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, just subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.